What is up guys, it's here for PT Gaming, playing some more Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich 0.3.3. Uh, still playing as the uh, Russian Republic, although soon to be the Russian Empire, once I get the uh, national event to crown uh, Dmitry Romanov as Tsar. Um, I'm just kind of waiting to build up more political power. Because at the moment, my physical power is in the toilet. Uh, so it's going to take a while to handle this. Um, fighter and tactical bombers. Fighters. So at the moment, it's just kind of waiting for uh, it to let me do stuff. Uh, there's a lot of waiting. I can't really declare war on anyone yet because I am still, in theory, a democracy. Uh, even though we will not be a democracy very soon. So it's just kind of waiting for research to happen. Um, uh, what year is it? It is 36, so I can research motorised. Um, or I could start researching a uh, land doctrine. Women's Division of Death. Allow the formation of the division. Become powerful. Uh, let's prove my uh, Actually, the standard... Div oh, fuck. I forgot about this. I'm going to have to do it on one army at a time. They're all green. Jesus. Right, so with fire support. Fuck. <laughs> uh, production, what do I need? Lots of things. So no, no, this guy was entirely, yeah, he was entirely a uh, standard military. So I've changed these little guys, these little guys. To, um, with fire support. The issue with this is that with the, the with the size of the army that you start off with is Russia, and the fact that this has added kind of like quite a range of military divisions, of like possible military divisions to it's very difficult to kind of uh, make everything the same. So uh, I'm just quickly gonna hop this up to oh Maxim Gorsky. I assure you, 68 is old age. So uh, one of my guys just died. Damn socialists. For fuck's sake. Fucking socialists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I can't do anything. Because it's all time based. General strike expands. You fuckers. <laughs> you absolute bastards. Uh, oil I'm not short of. Um, yeah, researching the next level of tank. Probably be smart to do. How many tank divisions do I have? None there. 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 Oh, it's probably one of my divisions has tanked, doesn't it? With fire support, with engineer support, recon support, fire support. What does that have? That's just... N. No. Engineer support. No. Oh, there we go. Division with tanks. They have a single light tank. And then this is just a different division. Now the game's paused. <laughs> so that is positive, but not great. Only plus 1.4. Turkish Karnite declared war in the Alash Order. Hey, you bastards, those are my guys. 
Uh, national focus wise, you can't do anything. <laughs> there we go, I can now re Speak of the fucking devil! Jesus Christ! So, that gives me... Reform to the mass, that gives me research into mass assault, and the, uh, the trucks. Uh, trucks ground battle plan, trucks superior, so let's go for mass assault. And then army modernization isn't time locked, so I can then get that, which gives me a frontline commissars and uh, mechanical warfare. Uh, luckily, the Reformation is quite a short one. I think it's oh, no, it's a 70 day one. It's a full length one. But they've uh, also introduced. Uh, like 20 day ones. Increasing demonization for the final land. Uh, I think some of the political ones are only like 20 days. Yes, that only takes 14 days to join the intent. The international. So, we're probably going to join the entente. Uh, which makes uh, Canada like me, but only Canada like me. <laughs> so maybe joining the Artont wouldn't be great. Um, let's wait a little bit to get the Mass Assault Doctrine and trucks. Um, what year is it? It's October in 36, so let's get to the Form the army. So if I scroll across, um, oh, so I need to do a uh, army modernization. It would take me another seventy days, but luckily now I'm working on um, actually making changes. So stuff is happening. So it's not going to be fucking deathly boring like the start of every Russia game is. Unassigned divisions. Who? Oh, the women's division. Uh, where? Show me. There. They are elite units, so let's put them on my border with Lithuania. And let's get everyone training. Concentrated Industry 1. Uh, it is still 1936, so let's go for excavation. Uh, and then look at my construction and see what I can do. I uh, cannot do anything. <laughs> so let's just throw two chunks. Uh, no, let's just put up my uh, finished border with a civilian. Civilian and. This is the one good thing about Russia. Like, there's not much... You can't put many factories on each space, but you just have so much. You just have... Like, there's there's not much... Um, area within the states. states. Workers' strikes! For fuck's sake! <laughs> 120 days of increased consumer good usage. I can deal with that. Mass for the motherland, more political power. See, this is what you get as Russia. As soon as you kind of settle into um, putting stuff together, you get these big uh, boosts. So, uh, Korea's going to war with Japan. Um... Let's give them full support. I know the Koreans are going to get absolutely wrecked, but I do, impend, I do impend, intend to go to war with Japan at some point. Um, they're pretty strong in kind of my area. <laughs> so it'd be a good thing to get rid of them. Division recovery rate. Mechanization improvement. 50% research bonus in infantry support. 50% research bonus for land doctrine. That'd be very good. Uh, there. 
And then let's kind of have a look at land doctrine. Do I get the boost? I do. And I get the boost for uh, the trucks and these two now as well. So it's simple again. It's so good having a not having to deal with a uh, mat catching up all the time, uh, which will come up in the final game. Oh, Mongolia is pushing back. Fuck. Fucking Bolsheviks. God damn it. God damn commies. Get out of my empire. Just ignore this bit. No, don't look at it. Don't look at it. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we finished two at the same time. Um, so, land doctrine is extremely important. We now no longer have the effect of austerity. Maybe. I had a bomber on my desk. So, I start with the two twenty five. Not built any factories yet. Have I built any uh, civilian factories? No! Uh, because all 36 are going to fucking consumer goods. That's why nothing's happening! <laughs> so that's 20% there. The Republic of Korea has declared war on Japan. Austria has declared war on Hungary. Crisis on the Dabnu. Despite the victory in the World Krieg, the Austro-Hungarian Empire seemed bound to collapse. Uh, the Irish Clash in 1927, negotiated with, the em with Emperor Otto was still a child, managed to preserve it. Though, however, the Hungarian... Sorry, though, though via granting extensive rights to, the mo to most of minorities in the Empire. However, the Hungarians were angered by this fact. Uh, angered by this fact. Angered. <laughs> uh, by this fact, and sought to establish a domineering position in the Empire. While the Habsburgs were still interested in retaining that role. Many put high hopes in the Irish Clash of 1937 to preserve the monarchy, but it appears that all diplomacy has failed. Hungary and Austria have separated and even gone into conflict with one another. A, a war is bound to affect any and all autonomous territories of the Empire. Now, Hungary is very big. Oh, and the uh, Second American Civil War is kicking off. And it appears everyone is going to war with Austria. Serbia declared war on Bosnia and Herzegovina. Look, look how ugly this is. <laughs> Revolution defeated. Another red army destroyed. United Mexican states. Send aid to Korea. Win! Win! Korea. Fuck! God damn it. <laughs> so what am I working on? Reform military high command. Okay. Oh fuck, I didn't read that. Did it say something is unlocked? Have I unlocked anything? I have. Crown Dimitri is the new czar and we will become the Russian Empire. Woo! It's good to get this done nice and early, and then I'll go back to reforming the military. So, Serbia took one state, and Bosnia was annexed. Serbia is now nice and big. Now, Serbia formed its faction yet? No. Long live Tsar Dimitri. And my party popularity has gone up, and my stability has gone up. So, now it's either 100 political power. <laughs> I'm another Russian Empire again. So, create new bureau. So, it, uh, so, those are mutually exclusive. Right, so make sure the game is paused. Right, so, uh, mechanization of agriculture, plus 10% efficiency cap, 50% research in a, in a, in a industry. That gives me a bunch of new factories, civilian factories, one research slot, civilian factories, infrastructure, civilian factories, civilian factories, research slot, civilian and military factories. So that seems like it would be a smart way to go down. Um, army modernization can wait, really. So 100 political power, national unity, factory output, political power. Hmm, so maybe going for that political power buff now? No, it's going to take 70 days. 
Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna for that one wasn't. That's also gonna take seventy days. So continue modernization seventy days. Mechanized division seventy days. Oh, I do, however, need to reform the navy as well. Ugh. Uh, I can also now start this, which will allow me to start expanding. So let's go for expansionism. Uh, let's start that. So it means I can start uh, pushing into uh, the Alash order and reconquest. Uh, the Finns. They haven't joined Middle Europa, so I'm actually going to reassign this army here to this army down here. And pause again. So now I need to change to one of my top guys. And then just do the uh, cheeky fuck you line. Uh, research laws available. It is now 1937. Which means I can research the next level of improvement. And the second Spanish Civil War. No, the first Spanish Civil War. <laughs> um, I'm reasonably sure the Kingdom of Spain loses anyway, because uh, the AI just kind of likes to fuck them over. <laughs> so, Croatia's done. Serbia is going to put up a big fight. And it looks like Hungary is making decent progress as well, seeing as they've taken Vine. Um, where the hell is... Salzburg? The capital must be there. Because I couldn't see him. Um, oh, it's game's forced. This one, nothing's happening. Hungary took nine states. The Austrian Empire was taken. It is now one state, Hungary, who then gave back Croatia and the Austrian Empire. But I'm guessing they are now vassals of Hungary. Serbia declared war on Bulgaria. Ooh, it's interesting. Uh, excavation one is done. Let's get construction. Two. Am I actually now building things? I am now, in fact, building things. In uh, Sokov, which is still the first goddamn state that I was building things in! More political power. Foreign policy expansionism. So, yeah, so I could go for either the Central Asian direction or the Caucasus direction immediately. Let's start going with the Central Asian di direction because that allows me to take this bit and this bit. Um. Which is always a good place to start, seeing as these guys are relatively weak. Uh, government intervention and political stabilization is finally in place. That kind of... Oh, until I get further stabilization, everything's fucked. Great! <laughs> Great. See, so, yeah, I think I'm probably going to record one more episode of this, then I've got a bunch of business work to do. Yay. Oh, shit. There's an overwhelm. United Mexican States declared war on the American Pacific States. Kind of make sure everyone's at least at trained. Production wise, how are we looking? We need 71. Thousand rifles. <laughs> Let's drop that down to one. Give myself two more factories there. Kind of balance everything out. Working on the Central Asian direction, so my stability is still very low, but not horrible. 
Oh, I completely forgot the Alash Order. It's a little war with um, the Turkish Khan, eh? Oh, no, uh, Turkestan. Fat man. <laughs> Who's the Alash Order ruled by? Old man. <laughs> Alright, so Central Asian direction. So securing Kazakhstan gives me uh, annex gold against uh, the Alash Order. So I'm going to start that off. Let's get this going. Is that a 21 day one? 14 days. Now the RMS, the Paternal Autocrats, me, are uh, now the majority by quite a way because I am ZAZA! <laughs> Improved machine tools. Right, uh, and then while I'm waiting for that to happen, let's start uh, Zemsvas going. Available war goal, declare war, annex, send. These guys should start going immediately. Uh, no, they've not. Now go. You gonna do things? I'm going to Portsmouth, this way. <laughs> Just start gobbling up land. Oh, hello. So, oh, um, Bulgaria. One division. That's all they have. Yeah, <laughs> this is why taking the last order is fucking easy. <laughs> Especially when you have uh, the amount of men I do. You guys are moving, no. One bullet. You take that. You take that. You take that. Captured some military factories. Let's take Astrakhan. Captured another military factory. More big guns. Making progress everywhere else. It's fucking, it's fucking Turkestan bastards! I want that bit. <laughs> right, and then this army. Get those orders. Kind of orders spread all over the place. Issue is because there are so many lakes kind of uh, splitting everything up. Why do you walk all the way up there? What, Bertie? What, what, what? 
My dog's pouring up my arm because he wants attention. Ugh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to end it. Thank you very much for watching Urban FPT Gaming. And I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ra.